What's up YouTube, this is Ultra and today I'm just going to make a quick video on why I think Janet Cage is Lee Mae's best cameo. Now she works with a bunch of different cameos, so don't feel like you have to use Janet Cage. I always use Sub-Zero or Scorpion. A couple weeks ago I switched to Janet Cage, I finally got to Labber, and I just want to go why I think she's at least a top tier pick, or why you should think, or why you should uh, consider using her if you play Lee Mae. To start off, she's a really easy cameo to use too, so that's a benefit. So, you get really good meteorless damage from anywhere, right? So 308 damage, no bar. If you want to spend bar, you get close to 400. Three ninety three, and uh, you can get over four hundred in the corner. There we go, four nineteen. So she gets really good damage, and you can also combo off of your back throw, which is a plus. But the main thing that makes Janet Cage uh, Lee May's best cameo is it is easy to combo off of a reversal, right? So, as we all know, Lee Mei can punish uh, anything that's minus 7 with her EX kick, right? A reversal punish, as you see. And you can also do this to Scorpion, but it's way harder with Scorpion, right? With Janet Cage, it is way more consistent and it is way easier to get out because you don't have to be as fast, right? So, you can... Right there, right? And then you can extend the combo. But this is consistent, and you can do this every single time. With Scorpion, it was really hard to punish a down one with Flip Kick. The punish was easy, but it was really hard to con to get it into Scorpion because you had to be super fast with the cameo coming out, and you almost had to be like instant, right? But this is just way consistent, and anything that's minus seven, uh, you can do this with right but it really benefits uh, when someone's doing down one post because you can full combo punish them right because you can pretty much get the reversal every single time right like getting the reversal was never the issue it was getting scorpion to come out super fast but with janet cage you have way more leniency right and then uh, you can finish the combo There we go. And that's 287 because you punished a down one. So that is the main reason why I honestly believe that that makes her a top tier cameo. Being able to punish down ones for 300 damage consistently is just huge. And being able to combo off of obviously back throw is huge too. You can get good meter list, good meter damage. You can get good damage from anywhere. But the focus on that minus seven punish, you finally, we finally have a cameo that makes it so it's consistent and easy to do, right? Because the punish has always been super easy. This has always, oh no, this has always been easier. Right? Oh my gosh. Like being able to reversal punish a down one, that's the easy part. You actually have a lot of time to punish it, but it was always confirming into your cameo. So this is why I think Janet Cage is Lee Mei's best cameo. Now I know there's a balance patch coming out, and we're gonna get a bunch of buffs. Lee Mei's getting a uh, launcher string, and they're also removing a gap. So once those come out, this could change. But I don't see um, Janet Cage not being a great cameo forever, just because. You can punish minus seven moves and down ones consistently for 300 damage. And uh, yeah, so that's the video. That's why I think Janet Cage is a really good. You don't even need to use the mime or anything. You don't need to use any of her other moves, obviously. You know, if you want to use the restand, you can, right? But I just wanted to focus on the uh, down one punish or anything that's minus seven punish and why and how it's consistent and how if you can implement that into your game you literally just limited your opponent's options 
I appreciate all y'all's support. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been busy. I'm in the process of moving. Thank y'all for the support. And don't forget to join the Discord. Uh, we are about to have the top eight of our third seasonal tournament. And uh, if you want to be in the next one, make sure you join Super Beginner Friendly. I appreciate y'all, and y'all have a fantastic day.